Hello to everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to introduce new ways to make mega menus in GreenShift block theme for WordPress. It's easy to add simple menu. Just select navigation block and click on plus icon. You can select existed page on site or add custom link. Even when you select existed page, you can change label and link in inspector control panel or directly inside editor. If you want to add image in link, place cursor in text where you need icon and click on arrow button in toolbar. You will find their inline image option. Now, you can upload own image. WordPress doesn't allow to upload SVG images, but you can install plugin safe SVG to enable such option. Or you can upload image in allowed formats. If you want to add label in menu item, select text which you want to highlight and enable strike through option in toolbar. You can also change margin between inline image and text in options of menu item. There are some additional design options for navigation, all of them are available in parent navigation block. Here you can change direction of menu and its layout. You can also select different icon for mobile menu. In style tab you can change colors for menu items and also for submenu items. Also you can set another distance between items in block spacing option. You can move each menu item in toolbar and also inside inspector when you select main navigation parent block. Now, let's add submenus. For this, click on submenu icon in toolbar. Now, your regular link becomes submenu container and you can add other items in it. Each submenu link can be also converted to submenu with nested levels. If you want to remove link from your parent item, just add special symbol as your link. Once you enable submenu for your menu item, you will see additional options in inspector panel. Now, if you have a lot of nested sub items, you can convert your menu into columned mega menu. Set also width for submenu items so it can have several columns. You can also add custom padding for submenu to make it more solid or more compact. Add more margin to specific menu items if you want to divide your menu into logical parts. If your menu item is in far right position, you can select columned menu to be right side aligned. Let's add something more complex. And for this, we can create custom menu template inside reusable templates. You can add anything in such templates and this will be used as your submenu item. For example, we will add two columns with links and image banner after menu links. For headings, better to use advanced text block and custom font size and font weight. Now, for menu items we can use different blocks. Most simplest is list block. You can attach links to text by selecting it and click on link icon. I will increase speed of video and move to next part. By default, all lists have circle marker, but you can disable it in options of list. 
You can set also custom line height, typography and colors for each list item or for all of them in parent block options. There are also other blocks which can be useful in custom mega menu. For example, advanced list block, which has not only list items, but also icons. Advanced list block has much more options than core list, but it's up to you what to use. In our case, we will add second column with core list. Now, let's add also image banner. Use advanced image or image block for this part. Don't forget to test your template on different resolutions to get best results. Also, take attention to fact that your template will have no spacing inside menu container, so, it's better to add some spacing directly in template. Now, it's time to attach our reusable template to be as menu container. And it's really easy in latest version of theme. Just select any menu item and make item as submenu. Then, select one of submenu types. In our case, we add mega menu in child item, so it's better to use column type. Then select template and click button to create menu container. Now, all you need to do is fine tune width of submenu container. Don't forget to disable menu link. Mega menu is working on hover when you view it on desktop. On mobile view, it will work as toggle box with Ajax loading so you don't need to worry about responsiveness. Adding full width mega menu has the same steps as columned mega menu. In our case we also use ready template which you can import from library of sections. But don't forget to check your row block, it must have enabled full width align. Now, let's assign our template to our menu. Steps are the same as in previous mega menu type. Add menu item, make it a submenu, remove link. The only difference here is that you must select full width mega menu type. Also, you can enable option to inherit background from template. This will remove default white background from submenu container. Lastly, few words about mobile menus. They are created automatically based on your desktop menus. All submenus will be automatically converted to toggles, this includes also mega menus. Color of mobile menu will be inherited from colors of your submenu containers. Additionally, we added two custom zones where you can attach your reusable templates. These will include top area before menu items and bottom area after menu items.
That's all for today, write in comments if you need some more options for menus in GreenShift theme.